Hello everyone, my name is Kieran and I work at the Royal Observatory in Edinburgh as an astronomer. The night sky is really, really big. So in this video, uh, we're just going to take a closer look at a small part of it. We'll give you tips about where to look. We'll talk about how people around the world bring stars to life with stories and we'll explore some of the science behind what you see. We are looking at maybe the most famous pattern in the sky, the plough, sometimes also known as the Big Dip. It's part of a constellation called Ursa Major, or the Great Bear. This is a good pattern to look out for if you're new to stargazing, as it can be seen all year round, and even in towns and cities. Next time you're outside on a clear night, look to the north and see if you can spot it. The plough looks a little bit like a saucepan. Can you see the long handle and the bit where you put your beans or your soup? The plough is really important because we can use it as a map to find our way around the sky. If you draw a line between the two end stars and keep on going, you will reach this star, the tip of the tail of Ursa Minor, the little bear. This star is called Polaris. Polaris can help us find where we are, no matter what time of night or whatever month of the year it is. It always appears in the north. If you were to go to the North Pole, it would appear exactly overhead. And as you go further and further south, Polaris appears lower and lower in the sky. Stars in the sky are not all the same distance from the Earth, and they're aligned into their patterns pretty much by chance. Astronomers measure how far stars are away in a funny unit called a light year. One light year is the distance a light ray can travel in one year. It's a very, very big distance, almost six trillion miles. The most distant star in the plough is 123 light years away which means that the light coming into your eye from that star has been traveling through space for over a century. When the light began its journey, the Royal Observatory had only just finished being built. Television and computers hadn't been invented yet, and people were yet to even fly in a plane. I hope you've enjoyed learning about the plow and that you get a chance to do some real stargazing and see it in person soon. In the meantime, why don't you make something inspired by what you've seen? We would absolutely love to see photos, so please share them with us on Twitter at Royal Ops. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this, check out our other videos on things to see in the next guy.